What's up everyone, it's Trainer Dell, and in this video I have for you a little Black Friday haul. Um, went to Target and I saw these Jumpstart packs, there's like four in here I believe? This was only like $18 and then a bunch of Darkness of Blaze packs, well not a bunch, I'll say <laughs> five. Oddly enough, the ones all in the front were Charizards, I just grabbed five, like, I actually grabbed three and I was like, hmm, maybe another two, and I came back around and grabbed another two and then they were all Charizards in the front, so I thought that was funny. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, go right into Darkness Ablaze first. I think these are cool. Jumpstart, like, you make four decks, I think, right? Because it's there's 20 cards per each. You make two little 40-card decks. Um, I'm just going to rip these out of the cardboard. Grim Snarl. What's this? Eternatus. I'm not going to remember all the names from <laughs> Sword and Shield. Uh, Scoliopede? Centipede? I don't know. Scolioscourge? Scolioscourge? I don't know. Charizard. And uh, another Eternatus. So, yeah, let's get right into these packs. You for last, boy. Um, pack trick should be four. Four cards. To the front. Code card, one, two, three, four. Steel, oh, I never noticed like the rainbowish effect. <laughs> Tartrix, not going through a phase. The Dene, Bird Keeper, oh, Dino, Dino, the Simeon, Coffer family, he's got a Coffer backup. Play some sports for the holidays. Bunnelby with the psychedelic art. Vanilla. Ah, oh, that's kind of cute. I do like vanilla. Gothita. Oh, so sad. Wishy Washy. Oh, so crying. And Serena. I think I have this in like the promo foil or something like that. Serena. Sense of Scorch. Man, I'm going to beat myself up over it code card one two three four five five four four to the front fire fire energy time soul rock relicant yellhorn nicket Shelmet, Larvitar, Grimer, whoa, Perspective, uh, Darumaka, the Galarian, it's an ice type instead of being a fire type, Rose Tower, and Melmetal, non-foil, not doing so hot here. Maybe I should have closed the door. You can hear like all the outside stuff, like cars passing by and whatnot. I'd like one little hit out of here, please. We have this, the third pack. One, two, three, four. Oh, I did not do that correctly. I hit something. Oh no. Psychic struggle gloves. Come Buskin Nuggets, Pupitar. Whoa, he's attacking. He broke that tree. Teddy Ursa, Panseer, More Lull, Wishy Washy again. Bl oh, Q Font, Blowing Smoke, and oh, Full Trainer Rose. Oh no, please tell me I didn't hit him. Let's see, centering a little bit off, but Rose, the man, the myth, the legend right here. Galarian time. That's, that's cool, that's a cool hit. Rose, up here. Man, I should really carry sleeves next to me when I do this, so I pull like anything like that. Um, that's pretty cool. Then. Another code card for you guys. 
One, two, three, four. Four to the front. All right, water. The Dene, Bird Keeper, Soul Rock, Dunsparce, Clink, Marini. Well, Marini, a common? I love and hate this Pokemon. <laughs> Torchic, Starly, Vulcan, Rona, Reverse Foil. Oh, that's nice. That should be a rare. And. Oh, a Salamence V. Oh, nice. These two packs been coming through. Salamence V. Wow. Look at the back here. Oh, man. A little, a little whitening down there. But overall, really cool. I, I need to put sleeves in. And then Big Boy Charger. So those two packs, pretty cool. I'm glad I got... Reverse foil, a rose, like, they're really cool. Let's see here. Final Darkness of Blaze pack. Four to the front. Psychic Energy, Relicamp, Yellhorn, make them all confused. Ursaring, struggling through life, uh, Skarmory, Pan Sage. Ooh, that's that's some art on this electric. Fletchling. Galarian Mr. Mime. Powerful energy reverse. That's so powerful. And <laughs> what is this? Pin Kirchen. Pin Kirchen. Pin Kirchen. Just foil, double draw, zing zap. So on the last packs, that's kind of cool. A foil, a reverse art, a V like a full art, and then the or like. And then what is this? One eighty. It's the end of the set. He's the last boy. He's the last man. So those are really cool. I really got to get sleeves and put those in them. Um, those are those are kind of minty. Those are kind of fresh. But for retail price, although there's no real MSRP, I believe in Jumpstart. Should I just? I'll go through each one. Smash, smashing. <laughs> What's this? It's red. What's in the smashing deck? Let's find out. Smashing. Oh. Oh man, it's, it doesn't want to. Who's in smashing? Volcanic salvo. Ah. Oh. Furious rise. Sludge Ball Brawler. Flames of Razebore. Heartfire Immolator. Ogre. Oh, there, there she is. Borderland Marauder. Whenever she attacks, she gets the plus two. Oh, oh driving bluff. And that is the smashing land. So, smashing. This one is Rogues. Ooh, Rogues. Break it. Uh, so much plastic and packaging. Rogues. Who's in Rogues? Oh, Gonti. Thieves Guild Enforcer. This card's been going up. It's a double rare, right? Yeah, Thieves Guild Enforcer. So um, good to get her again. Rogues Gloves. Not a bad card. Um, no, stab wound. This card art, like, I feel the pain. Ooh, there's your boy or your girl. I can't tell. Oh, wait, her footsteps are whispers. Her passage, a last breath. All right, so there's, there's your girl. And there's the rogues. The rogues uh, land. I do like looking at each land from Jumpstart. Those 
Smash. We got, is anyone playing Smash? Since Steve came out, it's my best friend's new main. He always said if Steve from Minecraft is going to make it, ooh, goblins, then he won't main them. I still main Super Mario himself, Mario Boy, and uh, Cloud and Ryu. Ooh, well, I get the... Mo Aw, oh, Goblin Chieftain. Oh, little tease. Goblin Chieftain and Goblin Goon. Unless you control more creatures. Can't block unless you control more creatures. I mean, goblins can kind of get out there and, like, they're having so many. They can really uh, go wide and fill the board. I do like the Goblin Lands. There's that little goblin up there. I'll add that. Every time I get a goblin land, I, I like I gotta replace a mountain from my my Cranko Mob Boss EDH deck. So I don't mind a goblin. But was it Moxis? Is that the one? That would've been cool. Oh, Minotaurs. 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 I'm surprised to know how many Minotaurs there are. Like you, you can definitely build a Minotaur tribal deck. Sethron, and he can be their commander because Minotaur, he's the red and he has the black symbol right there for Rakdos. We want to do Rakdos Minotaurs. Oh, Herald Swarm. This is uncommon in here? Did I forget that I pulled that last time through Minotaurs? Because Herald's Horn is still pretty good. Oh, the maze. It's like, it's pretty cool. Wow, Herald's Horn. That's... That's still kind of like a good value card. It's, it's, well, all right, so that's half. So basically, rack those colors so far. <laughs> Some of my favorite colors. I'm a Boros boy now, but when I first started playing Magic, I loved uh, I loved the rack those colors because I played Olivia Volder and Commander. I just decided to take this off. And again, it's another red for spellcasting. Double vision. Chandra's Pyreling, so not, sadly, ooh, Young Pyromancer, sadly not a double rare or a mythic pull. But we get the cool, like, person casting a spell through the mountain land. Oh, finally something a little different. Heavily armored. Um, in white. And what's funny is these colors, <laughs> the same colors I play. Red, white, and black. Heavily armored with Cathar's Crusade. Ooh, really good card. I'm glad to get another one of these. I, I kind of needed one. Oh, there's the Temple, or the Tempered Veteran. So Cathar's Crusade, a lot of token strategies and stuff. So when we bring in some more creatures. There's that shield or whatever it is reflecting the planes. Cathar's Crusade. Ooh, that's a good one. I'm happy getting that one. I'm very happy getting that. Cathar's Crusade, the Herald's Horn. I have a few tribal decks here and there. Well, drop the pack because... I got just too excited for this pack. Maybe it's good luck. It'd be funny if this is like a great pool. Feathered friends. Feathered friends. Who's in feathered friends? I don't think I've ever seen this. It's all it should be flyers, right? It should be just birds. Steel plume marshal. Whenever it attacks other creature, other attacking. With flying, get plus two. There's that new, like, Commander and Commander Legends, the Kangi or whatever. I guess it'd be good in here. All this stuff would be... Whoa, Gil. It's a Griffin? It's flying. Aerial Assault, Healer, Sophomo. Celestia Enforcer. And that's... That's the Burb Land. The Burbs. Red, white, and black. That's That's my color schemes. <laughs> That's kind of funny. There's, what was that? 
four reds, one black, one and two white jumpstart packs. So not a lot of variety in the color area. Oh, here we go. Red, 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 red. <laughs> this guy's just kind of funny. We got a Seismic. Who's in here? Grim Lava Mancer. That reprint. Magma Quake. Actually, I needed this card. I'm not too, too bad. Because part... Well, this, a lot of these will be damage cards, right? Yeah. Damage cards. Because and I want to build the... Uh, Jareth Carthalian where he keeps hitting himself. Damage to top creature equal to number because when you're uh then there's that's actually not too bad that's a kind of cool one the Jared Carthalian I kind of just keep, it's like a hit himself deck where if you're the monarch and he takes damage he gets instead plus one plus one counters so he can get really strong and so I want to do like damage board wipes and whatnot um thinking about that and also having him have flowing long beautiful hair from the idea from the I think it's Jake and Joel, our, our Magic or our channel. I watched the three ways to to build them, and I think that was a funny way. So I want to have, like, hair theme and, like, damage theme. But, yeah, those are the – those are the um, pulls from the Jumpstart. And, again, the Rose, the Salamence, Salamence, Volcarona, and Pinkerchin. Pinkerchin? Pinkerchin. Whoa, 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 before you touch that dial. Sorry. Just a few more pickups. I didn't think I was even going to go anywhere and do any more shopping, but there's some good deals, and I picked up the Ultimate Guard, Z like the Zip Folio, Xeno Skin stuff. $22 because there was a, they're having like some percentage off their stuff uh, at the booth. So Ultimate Guard. Got for 22 Got the gold Dragon Shields for 7 bucks. Really cool. This little dice bag for like 3 Penny sleeves, the Beckett ones, so I can finally have sleeves like I thought I should. I'm mostly excited for these Katana, like the Yu-Gi-Oh! size ones. I got black and blue, maybe for my Dark Magicians and Time Thieves. Uh, well, I don't know, the Dark Magicians are double sleeved now, as you guys saw if you watched that video. Ooh, knocking over stuff. Um, pick up a Champion's Path, Hellberry Gym. For that Dreadna, Dread The Black Turtles. There's Nessa. So cool. I don't know if I'm gonna open it or not. Uh, it's such a, you know, Champions Path is such a highly coveted thing right now. And we're gonna just do a little mail. And after this, I will have. I didn't know if I was gonna do it in this video, and I guess I'll just all edit it to one. Um. But I will do the contest winner. <laughs> so this is going to be a long video. Why? Well, I'm, this is just one thing. I could just show it. <laughs> Queen Marchesa, let's go. That's, I'm going to have to... I don't want to mess with it like on camera because, you know, I, I want to take my time getting that out. Um... Here is man. I've never seen stuff sent like this. What is this? Oh, ho, ho, there it is. Scroll rack and some some uh, etch foils. Uh, <laughs> I pulled them. I actually wanted to. I, I thought about Billy before. Carmetra, Jared Carthalian. A, a foil fire diamond. I thought that was cool. I want to put that in my Chandra deck. So I, I, I remember picking these up because they were so kind of cheap. And then I actually pulled them. So that's cool. I have a second one. But this is going straight into replace the World Championship one that I own. In my... Uh, Eureka deck. And then a lot of these, I think, some are for the Jared deck, and then some are elves for the the uh, Abomination of Lanoir. So Sarah's Blessing, I thought was cool, because 
just because everything vigilance. I wanted this actually just because it looked like a dark magician like um, <laughs> coat type thing. I think this one is for the Abomination of Lanawar. It's Abomination of Lanawar. All the elves. This one's for Jared, Cryphalion. Same. Uh, Elvish Mystic, Farsic. Got a few of those. Arbor Elf, Ramping Growth. So you guys can see like how I. Thalia for Jared. Ooh, nice. Oh. This is a loss with Seekin. I've been meaning to get this forever, so I'm glad that I finally did. Um, so yeah, that's the mail call, and stay tuned. Back with the contest results. All right, the moment we've all been waiting for, and man, best of luck to everybody who commented. Thank you for the support. Um, you know, hopefully I do this again. Uh, definitely want to appreciate everyone for just this, everything. So yeah, that's what I'm thankful for, and. Let's get going. There you go. I'll be commenting. You know who you are. Let's go. All right. Thanks for watching again. Peace.